This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Hello, and welcome to another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. Today, we are going to do our fit tip. We're going to do our strength, our cardio and our strength and our stretch, and we're going to have a good time. So today, you are going to need a chair with no arms. You're going to need water, and you're going to need your weights, light weights, not heavy weights, light weights or soup cans. Now for the fit tip of the day, balance, balance. We start to lose our balance in our 20s. And we really notice it when we're chasing our pants across the floor every morning when we're trying to get dressed. So what's happening? Why are we losing our balance? A multitude of reasons. It could be a loss of core strength the, through the torso. It could be loss of vision. As we get older, we our vision starts to wave goodbye, right? And or a loss of upper lower body strength and stability. It could be tightness around your muscles and your joints, less range of motion. So you're not able to um, catch yourself from falling like you used to when you were younger. It could be chronic pain or vertigo and dizziness, side effects from medication. That's one thing that we hardly ever think about the side effects from the medication or injuries, temporary or chronic permanent. And poor posture, poor posture, poor posture, right? When, you, when you're slouching forward, you, you are already halfway falling down onto the floor. So using a meth, like a lot of methods to correct your, your strength, your posture, becoming aware if your medication is causing dizziness or contributing to loss of balance. How can we get it back? Can we get it back? Absolutely even just a little bit counts. Practice standing on one foot but holding on to something. Help your core strength and we'll do that. We'll do that. Arms and legs, stability through the arms and the legs. So there's a lot of things that we can do to help improve our balance. So we'll recap at the end of the show and there's going to be a lot of stuff up here for you to see. But right now, let's go over here and get ready to do our cardio. All right, are you ready? Let's start with a nice little heel tap. Warming it up. Just have fun, dance in your chair. Out to the side. Feel your heart starting to pump a little harder. Breathe. Make sure that you're breathing. As your heart rate comes up, you need to breathe. Tap back to the front. Get those arms going. Breathe. Sit up nice and tall. Remember we talked about posture. Back out to the side. Those arm reaches going in. Working the shoulders, loosening up those elbows. Breathe.
A little bit of reaching up. Work at those shoulders. Cross it over. Push and pull. up and grab it. Back to the front. Let's add the other arm. Switch it up. Change those arms. Toe tap. Back to the heel tap. Out and in. Change those arms with that heel tap. Change it again. Push behind. We'll march out. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Put that country swing going. We have to do that heel toe thing. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Heel tap. Little march. March and sway. Now to the front. A little bit of brain work. Side, side, front, front. Breathe. Remind yourself to breathe. And will you take water whenever you feel you need it? Opposite. Sit up nice and tall. Reach to the front. Stay with those opposites. Change those arms. Nice and big. Tap to the side. Arch and sway. Here we go. Heel, toe, heel, switch. Breathe.
this way. We're going to start bringing it down. <clears throat> Make it smaller and smaller. All right, we're going to bring it all the way down. And you are going to get your water. You're going to drink some. And I will see you back here in two seconds. Welcome back. Let's get to our strength training. We have quite a few strength training movements. I like to call them movements instead of exercises. It just sounds nicer to help with that core strength that we talked about, that balance is important, core strength. We're gonna start nice and simple. So I want you to shift yourself to the front of your chair, but bring your feet forward with you. You can hang on under the sides of your chair if you choose, as long as you don't put your hands on your lap. We're going to do what's called a knee extension. Very simple. You're gonna use your quad muscle and your abdominal muscles to bend and straighten your knee. You're just going to straighten it and bring it back home. Straighten it and bring it back home. Show me the bottom of your foot. Show me the bottom of your foot. Good job. Bring it home. So very gentle movement, but you're feeling your quad and you're feeling your abdominals. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Breathe. And we're not lifting, we're just bending and straightening our knee. We're gonna do one more on this side. And we're just gonna shake it out, shake out that quad. Recovery in between movements, very important. So you just shake it out, grab a sip of water. And let's do the other side. Reset your spine, nice and tall. Pull your belly button in toward your spine. Shoulders down, they don't live here. Push them down. Here we go on the other side. Show me the bottom of your foot. Good job. So just straighten your knee, bend your knee. Straighten your knee, put your foot down on the floor between each, each movement. Bend and straighten. So you're feeling your quad. You're feeling your tummy muscles. They're there. Trust me, they're there. Breathe. We just need to puff them up. Strengthen them up. Sitting up tall. Showing me the bottom of your shoe or your socks, whatever you've got going on. Breathe. We're going to do a few more. Breathe. two more. There's one. And there's our last one. And shake out those legs. Shake them out. Shake them out. This is a good thing to do to move blood and to help stretch out the muscles that you just worked hard. All right, we're going to go to our back extension. So I'm going to turn my chair sideways. So you can see what I'm doing here. I've come to the front of my chair. I'm going to straighten my spine and I'm going to lean back and I'm going to sit back up. So we use our lower back muscles to control how smoothly and slowly we lean back in our chair, but we don't hunch our spine. We keep it nice and tall, lean back and then sit back up. We lean it back and sit back up. This is using our core muscles, important to maintain balance. Back up, lean back, sit back up. You don't have to lean back as far as I am, as long as you're leaning back, even just a little wee bit, that counts. You have to start where you are with your current level of strength and mobility. Breathe. Back we go. We're going to do one more. 
back we go last one and up we go and now I want you to hunch so you let that lower back release ah <sighs> water all right now we are going to do an ab crunch we did our lower back, now we need to do our abs. So you're gonna to come to the front of that chair again and all you're going to do is you're going to contract your tummy muscles and you're gonna come forward. So contract. So squeeze here to here, squeeze it shut, squeeze it closed. You don't have to lay on the floor to do crunches. We're doing them right here. Squeeze those abs, sit up tall. Squeeze the abs, sit up tall squeeze and sit up tall squeeze you can feel those tummy muscles contracting make them small make your tummy small and then open it back up shut the door open the door breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in two more crunch it release it crunch it and release it nicely done grabbing the soup cans or your weights i'm going to use soup cans for this one all right open your feet a little bit <clears throat> and we're going to push and pull alternating arms so you're going to start with palms toward your thighs hang on to your soup cans and you're going to push to the middle of your body and bring it back to your lap push it forward bring it back push it forward bring it back push it forward bring it back push to the middle of your body and bring it back push it pull it push it pull it this is one of the basic movement patterns that the human body is able to do pushing and pulling push and pull push one more on the other side Nicely done. What do we do? We recover. So swing those weights or your soup cans, but hang on tight. Breathe. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to use weights for the next one. <clears throat> so I want you to make your feet really wide this time. And you've got weights or soup cans in both hands. All right. So we're going to pick up the groceries sounds weird but here we go so you're going to hinge forward you don't have to touch the floor come up you're going to bend your arms and then you're going to push so you just put the groceries away bend down pick them up bend your elbows put them on the shelf bring your arms back down and pick them up bend your arms put the groceries away down we're going to do one more pick it up push it away and we're going to bring it down wiggle walk your feet together and recover so there we go picking up the groceries and working our core be mindful in your movement very very mindful all right so we're going to put our weights away and we're going to get some water and I'm going to see you right back here in two seconds for our stretch. All right, we've done our cardio, we've done our strength, and now it is time to stretch. And remember, stretching is really important. Range of motion, health of muscle and joints. So here we go. We're going to start with our back opener. So shift to the front of your chair, bring your feet forward with you we're going to make a cat back so we're going to round our spine toward the back of our chair but we're going to reach around the big barrel that's sitting on our lap so pull your tummy in and start rounding your spine toward the back of your chair tuck your chin to your chest and reach you can't quite reach around that barrel you can't quite touch your fingers together but you're going to keep trying breathe Allow the back of your shoulders to open, your upper back is stretching out, and all the way from the base of your skull down into your tailbone, opening, 
Your arms are getting longer. Breathe. Remember, we need to hold that stretch for at least 20 to 30 seconds for the muscles to actually release and let go. Breathe. And we're going to roll to the front of our chair. You can either press your arms behind you to open your chest or you can hang on to the back of your chair. Whatever works for your range of motion through your shoulders. I'm hanging on to the back of my chair. I'm opening my chest, the fronts of my shoulders through my collarbones, and I'm opening my abdomen. I'm opening my tummy space. I'm stretching my biceps in the front of my arms. Should stretching ever hurt? Absolutely not. Let's hold and breathe. Breathe. Don't allow your shoulders to creep up into your ears. Keep them down and back. Whether you're hanging onto your chair or just reaching behind you, keep those shoulders down away from those ears. And release and just let your arms swing. Sitting up tall and breathing. All right, we're gonna go to our lower spine. So I'm gonna move back on my chair a little bit. And I'm going to start turning my body that direction very slowly. Small increments of movement. So I'm turning my upper body toward my opposite leg. And I'm going to turn a little bit more. I'm going to hang on to the back of my chair. Small, small movements, one at a time. Make sure that your back is not hurting. I'm going to turn a little bit more. Breathe. And a little bit more. You don't want to turn quickly, especially through that lower back. That can be a problem area and we don't want to make it worse. And this is my end range of motion right here. Breathe. Tall spine. You go as far as you can without feeling pain. Letting that lower back release. Now we're going to come back nice and slow just the way we went there that's how we're coming back one small turn at a time we don't want that lower back to spaz or cramp let's go the other way slowly small turns small turns tall spine stop and pause between each little turn Breathe, make sure nothing hurts. And your lower back is actually allowing the movement to happen. And you're not fighting with it. And there's my end range of motion right there. Breathe. I'm gonna hold, and now we're gonna start turning slowly back to the front. Low turn. Oh, we're back to the front. Now we're going to open our hip and stretch our quad because we worked our quad when we did our knee extensions. We're going to turn to the side. Even if you can get your leg this far behind, that is fine. Don't force it. I'm going to go a little bit further. I want to try to get my knee behind my hip, pressing my toes and the ball of my foot into the floor. And then I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, nice and tall. So I wanna open from my hip bone to the top of my leg and then down into the top of my knee. Breathe. I'm gonna hold for a little bit. We're getting forward, hang on to your chair, bring that foot home, and we're gonna do the other side. Hang on to your chair while you're getting yourself and lean forward here while you're getting yourself into position. Get your legs ready before you bring the upper body tall. Feeling from here to here and then down into that quad. 
breathe. Breathe, hold and breathe. Don't let it hurt. Please do not push to pain. Hinge forward. Hang on to your chair. Bring the foot home. Here we go. All right. Here's a range of motion that we tend to lose because we don't practice it much. So you're going to reach up, reach up as far as you can. And then you're going to touch the back of your neck and you're going to stay right there. You're going to try to get your elbow tall. Right there. This is a movement that tends to disappear rather quickly, especially as we get older and if you've got injury through your shoulder. Breathe. Breathe. And we're going to release this one. And we're going to do the other side. Reach it up. Touch the back of your neck in the middle, in between your shoulders, and try to get that elbow as tall as you can. Sit up tall. Don't let your body lean back. Sit up as tall as you can. Breathe. And we're going to release one more. We're just going to rotate through the wrist, forward and back. And we are finished. I will meet you back over there in two seconds for our recap and our final goodbye. Thank you for joining me for another episode of A Little Bit Fit. You worked really hard today. A little bit of core work, a little bit of legs and arms, and picking up the groceries. Balance, 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 balance. It starts to leave us in our 20s, so we really need to practice. We did a little bit of that today, strengthening through the core, arm, leg stability. So, and one more thing we can do to, to help with balance is connect the brain to the body and be very mindful when you are moving throughout the day. If there's something that's going to challenge your balance, become aware of it, become aware of it and be in the moment, one movement at a time and be extra careful. Sometimes it sounds like mm, I really don't have to be, but if your balance challenged, you really need to be mindful and protect yourself from unnecessary falls. All falls are unnecessary. So we're going to hydrate and we are going to say goodbye for now. And I will see you again soon. But remember, knowledge is power. And the more you know, the more you can grow. So hydrate, shake it out, be well, and I will see you again soon for another episode of A Little Bit Fit with me, Karen Ross. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? Do you feel angry or depressed most of the time? Do you feel neglected or unloved? Do you feel that if the drinker loved you, she or he would stop drinking? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are not alone. Not everyone trapped by alcohol is an alcoholic. Families and friends are suffering too. Al-Anon and Alateen can help. Call one 866 